everybody, and welcome back to Bedrock Survival with Fix. I am making a couple rockets here. A couple rockets, not that many. I just, I, at the end of the last episode, I went and I harvested up a whole ton of bam, uh, sugar cane because I'm very low on rockets again. And luckily, you know, gunpowder is really just a thing where we just have to remember to AFK from time to time. Wait, how do you do it? It's just this, right? Yeah, I always make the, I always make the oneers and then throw two stacks in the ender chest and keep a third stack on me. So... Where we left off last episode is the sheep farm. We did a lot of work here and it's really, really coming together. So let me take you down in case you missed last episode and show you what the basic idea of the sheep farm is. Should we stand up on this tree? I think we should. So here we go, okay. All right, here's the idea. It's a cart driven sheep farm. I just thought that would be fun. So that's what we're doing. So there's basically three cart paths. There's one over there that somehow sheep got stuck in it. And there's one down here. And then there's the upper layer that, go, that connects all four. The upper layer drops shears into the dispensers that, well, into hoppers that then go to the dispensers. The lower two actually activate the sheep for, you know, the, the, the dispensers using activator rails, which uh, much to my chagrin, I made up a whole bunch of the other kind of detector rails. Yeah, I made up detector rails and that turns out that that's not the right rail. I don't know what detector rails do, but I have like three stacks of them just sitting around now in my world. So if you need any detector rails, just come over to Uncle Fix's house. So the, the basic plan is, Oh, these sheep are actually grown now since last episode. Cool, I can dye them because that's why I'm carrying these dyes around right here. I want to have, I need to get one more green sheep and I don't think, oh, that happens so often. It's so frequently. Let's see if I can, there we go. You gotta move so quickly, so quickly. Now, uh, so they don't escape. Now here's, here's part of the problem. You see that magenta right there? Yeah, that's part of the problem is that unfortunately these sheep, um, they uh, sometimes the wool gets caught on the edge of the dispenser. Not very frequently, so I'm gonna leave it. Now, if I really wanted to be uh, really good, then I would make sure that that's a full block, you know, and the dispenser comes in from the back. But that's how I'm using the detector rails to detect the cart to to know when to turn this thing on. Because the reason why I'm doing that is because mob grit. Oh, look, there's brown and there's white. Oh, yeah, it doesn't happen often. It happens like three out of eight times. Anyway. Uh, so the reason why I'm not using the, the the redstone thing that tells you when grass has been changed block state thing is because I, I'm playing with with mob griefing off and I don't believe that with mob griefing off that works. So I turned it off because it was getting a little bit annoying on how, yeah, I can't do this, right? Yep, on how on how, uh, how frequently endermen were picking up blocks and I didn't really love the add-on that I had. So I'm just kind of waiting for these two to eventually finally eat. And then once they eat, I'm just gonna bam, I'm just gonna click it really fast. And once I get everything died, then at that, is he gonna eat? No, I thought he was going to for sure. Then once, wait, did he just eat and get sheared like instantly? I think I saw the little particle thing go. Maybe that was just a particle of trying to shear. I think it probably was. See, I mean, some of these sheep are eating so much and some not at all. Like for example, there is a pink sheep over, oh, I think I got rid of my pink, pink wool. Yeah, this guy, I don't think this one has ever eaten since he got sheared the very first time. Okay, you know what I'm seeing here? I'm seeing a lot of wool up on these um, these hoppers. Okay, that could be more of a problem than I actually thought. So that's not good. I'm gonna have to watch this. If this gets really, really, really out of hand, I'm gonna have to do something about it because I'm not gonna be getting any wool. Let's get out here and check under this red one. Now this has not been running for very long, so I wouldn't expect like stacks of red. I have two and 19. Okay, so that's half good. Uh, yeah. Oh, this guy has... Wait a second. This guy's been sheared a lot. He's just... I And, and this guy, not at all. What? What's even happening? What is this? What is going on here? All right, I'm going to have to do some serious troubleshooting here. I'm not... I don't really understand why... Why my, my pink one is completely filled up. Like, this... Oh, oh. Oh, oh, get the pink. Where's the pink wool? I, oh, of all times, I don't have pink. I don't have pink. I, I think I put it down here or somewhere. Oh, crap. I've been waiting for, like, no kidding, like 10 minutes, maybe, for just this one brown sheep to eat. And now this magenta one's eating. The lime one, the green one, the pink one over there had apparently always been eating and just... I just only saw him after he'd been sheared. But yeah, this one will not eat grass and will not respawn its wool. I don't, just this one sheep. Oh, ah, yeah, baby. Woo, 
all 16 colors, two sheep of each. Now, the other thing is I am severely lacking iron at this point in my world. A gold, in fact, too. Actually, I've used basically all my iron and all my gold to get this whole situation running because I needed uh, a lot of these, well, I, the activator rails and the, the detector rails, whatever, they take a lot of gold. And then powered rails. Pa no, I'm sorry. The other two don't. Powered rails take all the gold, and that's what I spent all of my gold on. But uh, I need to AFK here at my iron farm for a good while. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to AFK here for a, for a little bit and let this thing start to recoup. I don't have a deer direct direct need for iron like right now. Like I could decorate this, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little break because as you can see, I have like none. Like I, here, here, I'll put my one iron that I own to my name left in here and all these... I don't even know what to do with all these poppies. I got I could either compost them or or something. I've kind of learned the hard way that poppy fields don't really they're not really great. They're not super interesting, so I don't know. I don't know what to do, but we'll see. If you have any ideas, maybe leave me a comment on what I should do with all these poppies. But in the meantime, I'm gonna AFK here for a little while and uh, get some Oh no! That is can I take off from in here? Uh oh, <laughs> can I take off? Wait, maybe I can get out. I think I can get out if I go over here. <laughs> oh, that's actually the first time I think that's ever happened as long as I've been working on this iron farm. Uh oh, man, I didn't get it. Wait, can I? No, really? Really? Are you not gonna let me get out from right there? Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Okay, I'm gonna AFK here for my iron farm for a little while, and uh, then I will be back. Uh, and we're gonna start working on actually designing the sheep farm, which I think is gonna be a really great thing, but uh, I need to protect myself uh, from phantoms, okay? I think I'm protected? Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna name this video, uh, What to Do When Your Build Sucks. I think that's what I'm gonna name it, because that is what I've been dealing with for, man, more hours than I want to admit to you or my wife because I was up way, way too late last night working on this build. And I, I'm a big proponent of not tearing anything down in Minecraft. Like once you build it, just, just keep on rolling and make it better. But man, this build has been tempting me. I have worked so hard on getting, on polishing this turd, uh, as they say, or as I say, at least too often, uh, to, to, to quit now, so I'm gonna keep on going, just keep on adding blocks, because that's that's my advice. When something stinks, when something's not good, you just keep adding blocks, and that's what I've done. So this is my sheep farm now. Now, I realize that the cut was enormous between last clip and this clip, because I didn't like anything I was building this time. I didn't have a real set vision when I was going in. I knew I wanted all four of these towers to be different looking, and they are, uh, they're all just kind of equally terrible. <laughs> But they're getting better. They're getting better, and I, I like that. So let, let's get a, a little bit of a vantage point here. So uh, let's talk about the good. The good is I like these roofs actually work pretty well. They're very symmetrical, very sort of square, roundish and stuff. But for what it is, given that there's four little paws, I think it works really well. I actually think that house, that sort of top over there works pretty well. Because imagine that these are going to be surrounded by just houses that's going to blend right in so that one's cool this one i think will be okay it needs some detail i brought this peak up higher than the roof line i don't know if i like that but i thought it was worth uh kind of a gamble to see if it works i think it might actually work if i just bring it down from the top uh, a little bit i think that'll work this one is a potato and it's been edited several times and now this little roof has a walkway going up to this bigger one this one has been the bane of my existence. I have tried at least that I can think of right now three different roof designs on the top of this tower right here, and I hated them all. One was I did a, kind of a dome roof like that, only using wool colors. Like uh, I think I used uh, cyan and purple or blue or something, light blue maybe. And it was just it was just crap because this room is not this roof is not square exactly. It's one block off. Like if you look, this is an even number and that's an odd number. So it's exactly one block off. I tried to square it and I tried not to square it. Both attempts looked looked really dumb. I just didn't like it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this into kind of a tower uh, like the top of these wall towers. I think kind of make it blend in with that. I think it'll be okay. Just here over the past maybe 20 minutes or so, I've been working on adding some spruce in. And I think that's really gonna help a lot. You know, spruce color is the same color as the the banding around my white and light gray wool. 
which I wanted to use. I want to use wool in this build, given that this is the wool hut, you know? So, yeah, so I think adding in some spruce along with all the oak is really, really going to help. So I think what I'm going to do is make all the detail, like all the fences works is going to be out of spruce. This wall is going to be out of spruce. Maybe a top, maybe I'll redo that little tower and, and do the top out of spruce and just really try to bring in as much as I can. Then once I get down here to the bottom is where I'll, I'll work in more spruce. So what I'll do is I'll do something like, yeah, of course I don't have any spruce fences that would be just too perfect but so something uh along the lines of maybe something like this for example i mean it's not gonna be that because that's obviously too low but see what i'm saying imagine that this fence is spruce just some things like that that i think are gonna really help to sort of dress this up and then down around the bottom i think i could actually use a lot of spruce trap doors so for example where they fit so for maybe Maybe around these, use barrels on the bottom, and around this, use spruce trap doors. Things like that, they're just going to add in some detail. I could even use spruce trap doors up there. That's just going to bring in that, that darker color that's really going to help. Um, yeah, I, I think it'll be okay, but I, we, just have a, we just have a lot of work. This build is really, I mean, I built, I built castles in the amount of time that I spent on just this little build here. I think I'm going to be addressing this in a separate sort of standalone video coming up. But um, as many of you have noticed, the, the realm of Aston has been absent on my channel for the first time in about four and a half years. And uh, yeah, I'm still on there. I'm still I still have probably more videos than anyone else uh, on, on that uh, on that series. I think I have eight videos, but two of them are tours, frankly. And and um, I'm loving writing the lore bit, which has not always, always been the way. That's why that disappeared for a while. But I am, I am really enjoying the lore bit. Um, I, I just feel a little bit not that motivated in that world for right now. I, I don't think it, that it, it's not, it's not going to be forever. Um, I think it's kind of a case where it's one of those things where I have not taken a break from this world. And I've talked about this a little bit. This is I don't think this is blindsiding anyone. But um, I think it's one of those things where I haven't taken a break on that world, like, well, like ever. Like, since it started, I don't think I've had taken more than about a week off of that world ever. And um, I just, you know, I don't know. Maybe part of me feels like that story is uh, nearing an epic uh, conclusion, which it is, you know. Um, uh, maybe I'm just kind of feeling insp inspired to play in this world. Maybe I'm feeling, uh, frankly, some of the uh, the YouTube channel growth bit, you know, which uh, I think is what I'll talk about in kind of a separate video. I don't know. I, I can't really I can't really tell you exactly what it is, but I just kind of came to the conclusion that I needed to take some time away from uh, the realm of Vast and and kind of get focused on on what I'm you know what I'm looking for here as as far as uh, the channel goes my my limited playtime such as it, such as it is and, and those things so if you're wondering because I get comments I get I get DMs uh, fairly frequently like hey uh, where's where's Rama Vastin and I get it and I love y'all for caring as much as I do about about that world um, it's not gone forever it's just that I just need to I just need to sort of refresh a little bit you know and i think uh this world for example is is actually doing that um to to a point maybe not as much as i wish it would because i i think i'm still i'm still not totally feeling it you know um but but just the the general sense of uh um i don't know creativity is lacking a bit for me Anyway, uh, you know, I, I don't want to go too deep into it because, I, again, I'm going to address this in sort of standalone video because I know not everyone watches the Bedrock series and stuff like that. But but I am really enjoying this world a lot. And it's like the world that I, I find myself thinking about probably the most frequently. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly when I'm going to feel sort of reinvigorated to play on ROV again. I don't suspect it will be all that long, but for right now, I think I'm kind of good. In fact, actually, um, well, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it later. That's not, that's not necessarily something I want to go deeply into today because again, we have this horrible, hideous build <laughs> that we need to work on. It's like, I'm saying, yeah, I love this world. And then I, I show it and it's like, Ugh. it's like, it's like puke. So you know what I'm thinking, what we're going to do with this build to sort of half save it oh man i gotta tear down that tree let's tear down this tree what the heck oh this is like a lot there's like a lot of tree up there what what the, what's going on up here uh <laughs> okay 
All right, well, I could use more oak, I guess, for sure. Is there any more? Two? I, uh, three? I left three logs up here on this this hanging tree. Wow, yikes. Four? Four. Wow, that is the five. I left five logs. That is the worst job of tree cutting down I have, like, ever done. Anyway, so I think what we're going to do about this terrible build is I think what we're going to do is we're going to write some lore around it and make this an overgrown, uh, overgrown sheep farm that, like, maybe has seen better times. I think that will be kind of cool. Mm, this could use definitely some windows up there in the second floor. I wonder if I can get up there smoothly. Let's do some more windows and then I'm going to start talking leaf because I think leaves are going to save this build and also also help write some lore and some interesting stuff about it as well. Well, let's take a look, shall we? I think it is coming along. It's coming along. I, I, I vetoed my previous clip's plan where I said, yeah, I think I'm going to leaf it all up and all that stuff. And I just thought about it. And I thought that's the wussy way out, right? Let, let's not... Let's not, and we'll probably add a lot of vegetation down around the ground. So I don't want to, I don't want to do too much, you know, not too much. Because these areas that I have done, like this little area, this little river area, looks really cool. And I don't want to do too much by making this entire thing just leaf. But you can see I did some variation there and some detail over on that tower. Uh, this one's starting to come along. I wonder if I can make this. Can I get up here? Yeah. Here's one thing I want to check. And I don't know if I have the materials to do it actually right now. I don't think that I do. Let's see. Well, we could always just make another crafting bench. Let's do one thing here together. And uh, I just, I want to grab a couple slabs, uh, oak slabs, and put them here. And then, in fact, actually, you know what? Actually, I lied. I think what I want to do, I think what I want to do is actually, hmm, let me see here. Let's do a slab here. Wow. Wow. Misplacing all of, why can't I place a block there? Jeez. Okay. Uh, let's see, if I do this instead, let's turn it, we'll turn it, we'll turn it like that, and then I'll get this slab, and I'll put a slab there and there, that might be better, I think so, because that's going to allow the, the peak of this to sort of be the highest point, even though technically that probably is, but then by it coming down, it's going to be better, so... Yeah, I think it's cool. I, I redid this little thing, just adding some detail, definitely adding some spruce, that really helped a lot. And I really think we're getting there, you know, I, coming up very, very soon, like maybe even next episode, I, I want to work on this area. I want to work on this this rail connecting thing, which means I'm going to need AFK like overnight at my iron farm just to get, and my gold farm, although I can't really AFK there, but I'm just going to need to uh, get tons and tons and tons of iron. So I guess we'll fly over there and do that now because I'm about ready to go make dinner and then we'll come back late tonight and see how much iron we get after, I don't even know, probably probably three or four or five hours by the time I get back on the computer tonight. Okay, we'll check it then. I don't want to forget today's question or comment of the day because it came from a good friend who is I Like To Get Wrecked, who's a wonderful builder on twitch.tv slash I Like To Get Wrecked. Uh, and he, it, this is a Twitter comment, so it's not really um, on a video, but I was, it was so so kind and so nice and such high praise that I thought I should definitely cover it in a video. Uh, from from one of the greatest builders in the entire Minecraft community. He said, this is probably the best end build I've ever seen. Now that is referring to the Realm of Vast and my uh, Elven base and new talent in the Realm of Vast. But man, uh, geez, what a what a what a kind comment and like the highest praise you can get from a guy who can build like that. So super nice. By the way, I'm on Twitter if you want to follow me. It's uh, at fixit412, two X's, two T's. 412 it's the uh you know you know how to find it but it, i i'm not i'm not super great at it but i really like it so i'm there so if you if you want to hit me up on twitter uh it would help me to know how to do it you know if i'm getting a little bit of love and 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 conversations and stuff because sometimes i just stare sit there and stare at it <laughs> i don't really know what to do so I'm, I'm an old old dog and it's a new trick oh my goodness literally that's a twitter notification right now by someone liked a, a, a comment saying someone asked for the best documentary out currently and uh, I wrote Idiocracy uh, which is kind of a, if you haven't seen the movie you don't get the joke but uh, Idi Idiocracy is a is a wonderful movie that I used to think was a fun little fictional yarn and it turns out that it just predicted the future uh, exactly correctly so holy cow it's going crazy Twitter's going crazy okay I, I, I'll, I'll be back to show you the rest of this build in a second well I think it's coming along I like it I like it. I, I don't love it, but I like it. Let me show you some of the work that I've done here on the exterior, which really, really starting to bring it together. I, I think that adding in the little ramp and things like that are really helping a lot. And, and yeah, I think it's I think it is cool, even though it's uh, 
it, it's got some work to do. Like, there's a couple of things I would like to do. Like, I'd like to probably create a little bit of interest in this little area right here. This blackstone area is very plain, but yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's all right. So uh, I, I didn't put anything over here because I think we're going to end up doing a house here just to sort of round up this part of the city. Um, and also, you know, also I'm, I'm kind of cognizant of not seeing that crop field from here because I, I think that having a house here and blocking that off is really going to be helpful, which is why if you walk through here, I did put a pumpkin patch. I just thought I just thought it'd be kind of cool and a nice way to transition from city then you're going to transition right into this farmland. I think the transition point is really, really good to be, can be completely honest and blow my own horn, but I think this transition is great. It, it took me a while of thinking to kind of come up with how I wanted to get from, you know, real city sort of streets to once you get over here and just kind of feels organic. You're like, oh, they planted some pumpkins here. Oh, there's, uh, there's some fields here. And then you sort of, Sort of just your eye just kind of takes you right up to that really big giant crop field over at the White Cliffs of uh, Dover over there. I, I think it's good. I think it's good. I think some interesting fences and some leaf patterns here. I think I think the whole thing, I really, really like it. I, man, I'm uh, I, also there's a way out here, but I, I don't know what's going to come over here. So we'll probably end up putting in probably houses here. I, I, I can't imagine putting in a crop field given that, you know, there's fields right there. So I think we'll probably put in just sort of houses here. But... But yeah, I think the whole thing is good. I, we did a lot of uh, texture variation, so I think the whole thing is is basically texture variated uh, enough where I think it looks pretty reasonable. And and um, yeah, it's kind of a weird looking uh, kind of sheep farm here, but I think it's I think it's cool. And plus, not to mention it's very very functional. Like uh, I just AFK at the iron farm to get a whole bunch of iron, so I'm gonna fill up all of these with shears just so I can go kind of crazy collecting collecting a lot of wool. But if you look in like I'll probably pick like the one that doesn't have any shears, but yeah. And I actually, I just cleared this out because I was building with cyan and purple. So yeah, and some of these, this is the very end. This row is the very end of the shears. So I don't think shears have ever gotten there. So I need to, I need to make that happen. But yeah, you can see some of these other ones are, are it's very good. I mean, this is all just since I've been building this place here and, and this place will be loaded up, you know, all the time, like forever and ever, this place will be loaded. So all these sheep are getting, either sheared or I'm probably out of shears. Looks like I'm out of shears over there. But uh, yeah, up here, this is actually where you put the shears. You can go right up here and you just hop up here and just drop the shears in here. So it's a decent little system to load up the, the card. And uh, yeah, I think it's, I, I, I love that there's this card zipping around. I think that's that's probably my favorite part is just the carts that you just see as you're, as you're walking around here, you just see or hear the, just the carts. You know, there's three rows of carts. You just see it moving. I just think that's really cool creates a lot of movement to the city something we've been talking about for a little while here in the uh, in this world but anyway that's gonna that's gonna wrap it up for me today we did a lot of work we did a lot of work we built a pretty cool thing so i will see you all next episode from bedrock survival with fix uh keep an eye out for that special sort of channel state of the uh, state of the channel address here at some point coming up real soon love you all thanks so much leave me a comment and a like if you don't mind it's really awesome to see who's coming by and sticking to the end of the video it means a lot to me bye, bye.